Hi, my name is Jaime Veramontes. I'm with the Structure Services Unit, and today we're going to show you how to use a feeler gauge to verify that the direct tension indicators, or DTIs, are installed correctly. And what we're going to focus on is the installation and signal mast arms. So what we want to show you is the components that you're going to be checking out there in the field are going to consist of a nut, a hardened washer, and a DTI. And this direct tension indicator is different from the hard and flat washer in that it has protrusions or bumps that you can see on one side of the DTI. It's important to note that for proper installation the protrusions have to be facing the hardened washer so when the the nut is tightened within the mast arm connection. It will look like this. You will have the nut, the flat hardened washer, and the DTI with the protrusions facing the hardened washer. This is a feeler gauge and our specifications require a 5 thousandths feeler gauge to be used to check the DTI. And you can confirm what type of feeler gauge you have because directly on the on one face of the feeler gauge you will see a five thousandths of an inch designation directly on top. Once you have the bolts installed and the mast arms are connected and you have the proper orientation for the washer and the DTI you're going to get a connection that looks somewhat like this and what we're going to focus on is two items, a DTI that's installed properly and a DTI that's installed improperly. The way our specifications read is you're supposed to have a certain number of refusals or the gap between the protrusions and the DTIs and the hardened washer will refuse entry of the five thousandths of an inch feeler gauge. In this situation, with this middle bolt, it's installed and tightened. And you want to take your feeler gauge and use the divots on the actual DTI to determine the location where you insert the feeler gauge. You want to take a look at the divots that I'm talking about, uh, talking about are on the outside of the actual DTI. So these divots on the outside of the DTI are in the center of the protrusions as you can see here. Here's the divot. Here's the protrusions or the bumps. And you would put in the feeler gauge directly over the divot against the DTI in between the protrusions. To do that in a bolted connection, we would take our feeler gauge in a situation where you're out on a signal mast arm you'll have to go up in one of the bucket trucks the contractor by specification is supposed to provide that access for you and it does require fall protection training be aware of that once you're in the bucket truck you would go up to each connection according to the number of connections or bolts that we need to verify you would take your feeler gauge find the divot within the DTI and insert it directly in between the flat washer and the DTI. In this situation, this particular connection is not bolted correctly. So as you can see, the feeler gauge will be inserted in between and stop when it hits the shaft of an actual bolt. That is an indication that it's not installed correctly because this particular space did not refuse the feeler gauge. In a situation where we move above to the next connection, this one is tightened properly. So when I repeat that process next to the divot and the flat washer, as you can see, I will not be able to install the feeler gauge in between the gap between the DTI and the flat washer. That constitutes a refusal.
and that's what we're looking for when we inspect the mass storm connection. So please review those 2015 standard specifications. It'll give an indication of how many connections you need to check and the number of refusals will depend on the diameter of the bolt and the DTI. Thanks and enjoy your inspection out there.